Our late Saturday, news of the death of former Secretary General of the United Nations and Nobel Peace Laureate Kofi Annan quickly spread. The Kofi Annan Foundation, which confirmed his death, said his wife Nain and their children Amma, Kojo and Nina were by his side and he died peacefully. In a statement announcing his death, the Kofi Annan Foundation described him as a global statesman and deeply committed internationalist who fought throughout his life for a fairer and more peaceful world. Since the announcement, leaders the world over have condoled his family, hailing Annan as a selfless human rights and peace crusader who was committed to the upholding of human dignity. President Uhuru Kenyatta led local leaders in eulogizing Anan, saying he was praying for his family and friends. Deputy President William Ruto, noting the international community, had lost an outstanding, remarkable and swerve a diplomat. Former Prime Minister Raila Odinga mourned Anan as a peacemaker of repute whose reconciliation efforts following the 2000 and 2008 post-election violence restored the country's peace. When this country was on the precipice of tipping over. It was Kofi Annan who led the mission that uh, intervened and reconciled our people and ended up with the signing of a peace accord, which translated into the formation of a grand coalition government. Kofi went further to supervise the implementation of recommendations contained in that accord for another four years. Every six months he was here in our country supervising the implementation of the accord. This country and the international community is mourning the passing on of one of Africa's most distinguished sons, former United Nations Secretary General, Kofi Annan, a man who brought peace to this country, a man who has been iconic in terms of his conduct of diplomatic affairs, having served him before he became United Nations Secretary General, he was in charge of uh, the peacekeeping department of the United Nations. Current United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres acknowledged the later Nan's contribution to the growth of the organization into the new millennium with much less dignity and determination. Africa Union Chairperson Musa Fakim Muhammad grieving the death of a great man, a dear brother, an immeasurable loss of great man, a humble statesman, and a global icon. United Kingdom Prime Minister Theresa May, in her message of condolence noting a nun, contributed greatly to making the world a better place. Tony Blair, a former British Prime Minister, noted Kofi Annan was a great diplomat, a true statesman and a wonderful colleague who was widely respected and will be greatly missed. His home country, Ghana, has declared a week of national mourning.